are gay. Yeah, gay people are what do you think gay. about gay people? If you're that was the most authentic fuck, fuck I've ever said. It's not <laughs> small. It's not, it's not actually small. <laughs> it's not, it's not fucking small. Stop. How big? Um, I'd have to measure it. I think it's like six and a half inches, something like that. <laughs> Next time I get hard, I'll let you know. I'm kind of getting into it. I really like shaving. It's very therapeutic. Bro, what the fuck? Shaving? Is it, is it okay if I ask yeah, you two like a quick question? Face. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I guess. Yeah. What the, bro, what the fuck? They can like go get a private room, no. bro. Yeah, right. Who are right. you? What she does is is. I'm God, she's suspect. racist too. AJ, wait, oh. Wait, wait, yeah. Alright, so. Uh, it's always plat 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 plat. Get pregnant. Get pregnant. <laughs> All right, so I'll, I'll throw my question out there for you guys real quick. Do either of you consider yourself like avid VR chat users? Like you use a decent bit? No. Uh, because basically I'm trying to make like a little documentary for YouTube and I wanted to follow someone around for a couple hours. It's like avid with VR chat and see what it is in the day of VR chat. Oh. Uh, uh, it's cancer. It, it's, it's terrible. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's. A lot of it on here is pretty sexual. So is it like the worst here, or is it worse in different worlds? When I when I'm here, like when I play VR chat, I'm here a lot, and I hear like it's not. It's it's cancer everywhere. It's just degeneracy. No cowgirl on me. Oh, for for disclaimer reasons, I'll just say that you two are wrestling. Just disclaimer, so I don't have to you shut edit the all fuck that. Up? How about you, D1? What well, brings you on to uh, VR chat, man? I'm filming a little documentary. I'm just trying to get insight from everyone. Nothing, bro. I don't want to be on this game. I get on like it once every three months. You got a fat pussy question mark? Oh, but what what do you what do you do when you get on here? <laughs> I don't know. Just bully people. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, uh, you two have a uh, lovely rest of the night. I'm gonna go uh, see if I can yeah. find more people to talk to you, slash interview, or whatever. Yeah. I, I wish you luck in that endeavor. Hey, good luck with your uh, big penis or whatever you were talking about earlier. What's the go-to when you get on VR chat? Probably here, or I'll just join whatever world my friends are in. Uh, okay, because I interviewed a few um, people. They say the Black Cat's like a terrible place to go. Um, it is, but it's like also kind of just fun to see what 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 I mean, going on here. Somewhere. Anywhere is really bad. All right, so what's like a world I should avoid and at all costs? Like, don't even touch it. Uh, oh my gosh, the Avatar Search World. That thing, that thing crashes me so bad. I don't know, but there's a lot of like things. Um, the murder mystery, like, the murder mystery world that we were in yesterday. That one was pretty. Well, I like. I liked Murder Mystery. It's fun, it's just the people who ruin it. Well, from what it sounds like, the Murder Mystery can be toxic, but fun if you're with the right people, and then the Avatar world just, it crashes. Yeah, like really bad. <laughs> Alright, so what would you yeah, say the know. best thing in VR chat is? What, what's the best thing about it? Um, probably just some of the people you meet, because I met like a lot of cool people in here. Don't worry about it's just like super fun to do whenever you're really shot. bored. I don't know, find people you can get along with. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, what's the worst aspect? And then, uh, can you tell me, like, a story of something that's happened? That was, like, the worst experience you had on here. Okay, I have the perfect thing for this. Okay. <laughs> so, whenever you're, like, in a world, okay, and then someone random walks up to you and they start beefing with you, like, for no reason. Like, where, where they'll be like, from, shut your fat ass up, bitch. Like, nobody wants to talk to you. I don't know who you're talking to. And it's just like, I didn't even say nothing to you. What? Um. Yeah, and... This is not my story, but it's my friend Mindy's story. So <gasps> she was, um, in the black cat, like over there on the, you know, the ledge on the stairs. She was so sitting up there as, like, a Minecraft fox avatar. And people were, like, surrounding her and were like, shut the fuck up, nobody was talking to you, da 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 da. And she was literally going to go get a drink of water. <laughs> she was just like, what? Well, I appreciate your time, and uh, if you want to like do like a little plug for yourself, like if you want people to follow your Instagram, whatever, you can say what it is. And do better. Do a little plug for yourself um, if you want one. You're a better actor than me. I don't know if y'all can see my username, y'all can add me on VR chat. How about you? Do you have a plug? <laughs> what? Uh, you can just look at my username.
Oh, okay. Uh, do you mind if I ask you all a quick question? Yeah, what's up, Pookie Bear? Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm trying to film like a YouTube documentary style thing. I'm just trying to interview people and get certain aspects of how it is in the day of the life of YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. It's it's scary. Why would you say that? I'm a pedophile, and usually, usually I hit on little minors. Do you, me, do you want me to keep this in there with like your name and stuff like that, or do you want me to edit that out? Oh yeah, fully dox me, bro. <laughs> okay, I have your permission to do that, and you said it's okay, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I give you so much permission. Okay. I didn't know. Don't worry about it, Pookie Bear. Okay, you're 16, so... Anything you else? You want... Well, I'll, I'll just gonna say... Uh, yeah, I fuck around with minors, bro. I'm 16, now. I fuck around with minors my age. <laughs> oh yeah, so you stay around your age. Right? No, it, it doesn't. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, damn. It makes you an average Guys, I guess human. I'm not a pedophile. When you get on VR chat, what's the things that you do the most? I just try to make friends sometimes, and I harass a lot of people in my Batcat avatar. Okay, so whenever you harass these people, what do you what do you tend to do the most for harassing? Uh, so so basically, I just go up to them and just like slowly caress their face and I'm like, hey, Pookie Bear. It's okay, I'm I'm here for you. Okay, well, what, what's some of the best aspects of VR chat if there were any to point out? Uh, I'm stuck. If you Josie, find I'm the stuck. right people, Joe, some of them are really bad, bro. I'm being serious, bro. Is this like a documentary? Okay, uh, that, that, yeah, can bro, you give you me an example? Bad hey, Josie, um, oh, like, what's the experience? Uh, some, some women on this game are bad as fuck, bro, for I, I real. What is the worst experience you've ever had on the air tab chat? Yeah! Oh, 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 I got you, bro. I got you. So basically, I was chilling, right? And this one girl, she, she, this was in the back of Black Cat, right over at that mirror at the front, you know, where, where at the front is, right by the tables and shit. I heard, I heard nothing. Yeah, bro. This guy was playing with a loving in a public lobby, bro. It was the most inappropriate shit ever, bro. I was freaking the fuck out, bro. I was like, what the fuck are you guys doing, bro? This is nasty. Oh, yeah. And one of my, oh, my VR chat dad, he, he was dating a 14-year-old, and he was like 30-something. Wait, what? Yeah, bro. That's actually insane. So, you know, I had to get rid of him. I had to dox his ass, you know. Yeah, yeah, his name's his man. Right He's a little pedophile. A beautiful head. I... He he likes he likes touching little black you know, girls. Hey, okay. hey. I'm sorry, what? I were to, or if you were to oh, help really? me avoid I the worst why. world to go to, which place would it be? Shangri La. Furry world. Furry world. Shangri La. Furry world. Easily the furry world. Shangri La. No, I've been there. No, I've been there. Have you guys been to the Shangri La? Have you guys been to the Shangri La? It's, no, what's just, it's genuinely traumatizing. Right, um, basically, it's, it's just a bunch of femboys like and a, furries, and they're all just fucking like in a pack. Like, imagine just seeing, uh, imagine just seeing like a bunch of furries fucking, bro. That's literally the Shangri-La. All right, uh, my final question for you is: uh, Do you have any plugs or anything you want to say to, the, to anyone watching? Like, you have any socials you want people yeah, yeah, to reach yeah, out to? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone, everyone, free my boy, free my boy, um, free my boy, uh, Osama Bin Laden. Okay. And, uh, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly, he did nothing wrong. <laughs> free Osama from the gates of hell. Yeah, yeah, free R. Kelly. Thank you for your time, I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. You said you want an interview next, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Alright, so I don't know if you heard the whole thing, but I'm basically just making like a little documentary for YouTube to see how the ins and outs of uh, VR chat, how people feel about it, the worst things about it, just stuff like that. So uh, whenever you get okay. on VR chat, what is like the first thing you do? I usually like coming here. I mean, I play guitar, so like I'll sometimes play guitar because I kind of just like sharing music with other people. And then I'll eventually kind of just like chill like I am right now and I'll just like talk to people and just like hear random bullshit and usually hear a lot of a lot of racist comments. Uh, how long have you been on VRChat? Oh, uh, it's been kind of on and off for about a year because eventually it just gets boring because it's like a bunch of 13 year old kids just running around. Whenever you're on VRChat, what what are you looking to do? Are you trying to make friends or are you just vibing, hanging out? What's up? Uh, uh, 
I'm usually just vibing, trying to make friends, and that's I kind of just like use my guitar to do that because that kind of just like attracts people with like the, the same kind of vibe I have. Uh, what are some of the worst aspects of VR chat? Like, what what do you dislike the most about it? Probably the femboys and the furries. <laughs> well, what do you do whenever you see these people? Like, what what upsets you when you see them? Um, they're usually like I don't I don't really care, but like they just wear hello explicit avatars, and it's kind of just like. Oh, um, it's kind of just like nasty. Like I get you can like ex express yourself here, but there's some stuff you shouldn't do. Maybe. Okay, so they dress up uh, very indecently. Do they like force their indecency upon you, or is it just like it's upsetting to see or offensive to you? It's kind of just like upsetting to see. I mean, I, I I can understand that because there are children obviously running around here, and that could be bad for them. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. There's like 12 year old kids who are who are, who are seeing. Oh, that. my sister's. Oh, my sister's gonna get one of these for Christmas. So, oh, she's gonna be bro. 12. <laughs> okay, no, no, there should be like an age limit on that. It should be like 17 plus, because like VR chat is not okay for kids. At least. Yeah, at least. At least that was gonna be my next question is should, should they put an age gate on VR chat? Like, God damn. Yeah, yes. for the love, yes. please. Yes. There's some, there are some avatars with bare titties. It's like, it's, it's so nasty. And they're like, bro, you see like eight year olds with these bare titty avatars. I'm like, Nick, who gave you that shit? Like, yeah. who the fuck is that? That's true. I don't get it, bro. Well, I have these worlds, this explicit worlds or not, what is the worst world that I should avoid at all costs for interviews? This is not my shade. Oh, yeah. uh, you were mentioning earlier, you said you oh, would Oh, okay, so there's a furry world. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes, the I stumbled world. upon that. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah, the furry world, it's just like, there is some, like, genuine sex role-playing going on right there. And it's, uh, I, I highly recommend avoiding it because... Furry today. It, yeah, it's just... Any sense. What is the worst experience that's ever happened here? Besides the, yeah. Besides the furries? Besides the furries. Mine's the furry. Pedophiles. For sure. Yeah, pedophiles. Pedophiles. Did you have an experience with this? Pedophiles out here. Oh, yes. Literally fucking, like, I'm not a child, right? But I was hanging out with this dude, and he invited some of his friends because I thought he was cool. He invited them, and I was talking with them. I was like, yo, how old are you? You sound young. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm 12. This nigga invited, hey. like... Eight twelve year olds to our world, and I was like, bro, what the fuck am I? Like, what is going on? Who the fuck? And I just immediately left. I had to block them. I was like, nah, bro, I'm not dealing with this shit. I'm not gonna hang out with pedophiles. Hey. And, like, when I saw him like talking to them, there he was like flirty as fuck. It was yeah. so whack. Tiny. Like it's so uh, whack because it's super common. The more I noticed it, the more it's like out there. How do I make There's this? There's so tiny. many fucking pedophiles, bro. Oh, it's fucking so crazy. So you go to quick acts. I'm a grown ass adult, right? And I noticed this shit. I'm like, bro, you're fucking see? weird. I got little niggas that like are like my little homies. I see as like my little brother or something, and they're cool as fuck. Cause like it's whatever. Wait. But like them, they're like flirting with See? them. I'm like, bro, you're a fucking weird. Like, I like there's a difference between like uh, having a little height and then 20 centimeters. And someone weird. you're trying to fuck because you're a fuck. Height. You know what I mean? So you yeah. so weird. So if you have any socials, TikTok, X, Instagram, whatever, you can plug it right now. It's <laughs> <Shout laughs> critical. Rainy days on TikTok. I mean on on Instagram. Shout out rainy days on Instagram. <laughs> Shout out Gap He's so days wide. on TikTok. You Look know at what him. Mean? Shout out my boy Lebompe. Shout me out. Coffee. I got you. Hey, excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you guys a question real quick? I might have an answer. Fire away. Oh, okay, well, would you mind if you uh, answer a few questions for an interview? Because I'm filming a little documentary for YouTube. And I'm just trying to get insight for people on how they feel about VR chat and whatnot. If you want some insight on VR for chat, this moment, please ask me. Play the game, right? And I've been in it today, and Down so here. many people are just walking around saying, I'll rape you, I'll rape you, I'll rape you. It's oh, gross, oh. bro. Oh, that's, that's so funny. So that VR chat. Oh, bro, it literally happened. Says, like, she's a woman. <laughs> that bitch got a fucking tallywhacker, and you run, boy. You run, run as far run. as you can. Alright, so how, how long have you been playing VR chat? Um, about six, seven months. Alright, and what are some of the good aspects of it? 
good aspects so there's a lot of like really cool avatars you know a lot of people here are actually pretty creative and i and i mean every word of this by the way but, but you will find a lot of very weird stuff but um all around pretty pretty fun to like hang around with if you have like social anxiety this is a perfect place to be because you know your face is hidden i mean in real life i'm absolutely horrendous just looking and now i'm like my favorite animal ever but best aspects i'd have to say is all depends on who you're hanging around with but all around people are like just fun it's like the only way to put it really so uh whenever you get on vr chat what do you what do you do the most whenever what's a day-to-day -day for you on vr chat probably would be Go into the Black Cat and see who all I meet, and potentially go play some Pavlov Shack. All right, now let's get into some of the worst things. What are some of the worst aspects of VR Chat? NSFW avatars. That okay. and uh, verbal abuse and stuff. You know, like just how people sit there, scream at each other. You know, slurs, tell them to kill themselves, that's like one of the worst things. I was interviewing another guy, and they, they were agreeing with the, the night safe for work stuff is really bad, but they mostly say it's with furries that do it. Is that true, or can you confirm or deny if this is mostly the case? Um, it's not just furries that, you know, do that, and most of the time I see furries, like, victims of it. But, you know... It's very difficult to tell who's going to do it because they don't exactly, there's not an avatar that really corresponds to it. It's more of kind of like, it's like playing roulette. You know, you just never know whenever it's going to just go pow and then, you know, all of a sudden you're being called slurs and yeah, it's... <clears throat> Another big thing I've been hearing a lot that people have been dealing with is uh, people dealing with pedophiles or predators. Is that a big thing that you've witnessed? Um, not really that I've witnessed. I have seen. Oh yeah, this is my boy Raven. This this is my friend Raven. Oh, well, I hope you're having a wonderful day. You sound amazing. I love your voice. Thank you very much. I highly appreciate Dude, that. That's what I'm saying. You, that's why you, like, you sound, sound like you sound, sound like Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. So in all your days of being on VR Chat, what is the worst thing you've seen slash experienced? I, I really gotta probably whenever uh, someone took a NSFW avatar and started chasing children around. Yeah, I, I have watched it happen, too. There was a six-year-old who was on here, and someone switched into a male NSFW avatar and started chasing them around and, like, completely scared the fuck out of them. And luckily, I watched that person get, like, banned from VR chat. They just, like, randomly disappeared in the middle of their, like, freaking terrorism act. Now, if you were to choose one world out of all the worlds oh, in your chat, what, which one would you tell me not to go to? Like, steer clear of it because of how toxic or bad it is. I don't... I try to avoid those mostly. A big one I get a lot is the furry world, or fur hub. See, I have heard about that place, and if the stories I heard are true, I would not recommend going there, mainly because of all the weird things that happen that should be done in private worlds instead of public. Yeah, I hear there's a lot of ERP that happens there. Yeah, very adult content stuff happening on something like somewhere where a lot of the people that play this game are minors and they do it in public worlds which is absolutely disgusting. Oh, no, wait, Certain where are you going? showing he's going to Furry Hub. Why? For a documentary. Why? It's a documentary. Oh my goodness gracious! Good luck, my my good friend. Fucking Christ! God, some fairies are okay, but like I don't know, eighty percent of the guys I meet that are fairies are interested in fucking dogs. Um, and they're just assholes. Why are they such are assholes? I'm gonna go interview one and find out. It's yeah, it's almost like racism, my, man. They don't like people that aren't too. fairies. Because, I, I guess they've met a lot of people that are assholes, right? Like we have. We've met a lot of fairies that are assholes. 
I guess it's the same thing. They're probably nice people, but Christ, Dude, you, just Christ, you know, like, as well. I don't know, Chief. Good luck. You'll be okay. Now, yeah. Would you like to? Would you like to have an interview? If you're not busy or anything. I'm not busy right now. All right. Well, what are some of the good aspects of your chat? Like, whenever you get on, what are like the fun things you look forward to? Um, the the good people, like the people who joke around with you and stuff. Is that common to find, or is it like it takes work to find those people? It it takes a little bit to find them. Uh, what are some of the bad aspects or things you look to avoid while on your chat? The old people. When you say old, like how old? Like the 25 year olds. 25? Well, I'm 25. 25 so to 30. Whenever you meet these 25 year olds, what do they do that you make they that repulses you away from them? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So how how often does this happen? Is it like it happens a good bit? Oh uh, yeah, majority. All right. Well, uh, I know you've only been on here for. Not not super long, but uh, if you were to recommend me one world to never go to because you had a bad experience, what world would it be? I haven't really gone to a bad one yet. Oh, okay. If you want, uh, this is your time to shine now. If you have any plugs, if you want anyone watching this, follow me on Instagram, X, TikTok, whatever it may be, you can do so now. If not, just say whatever you feel like you want to say. I don't have anything else. Oh, okay. I mean, that's good. Excuse me, you guys mind if I ask a quick question? Huh? You can ask. Sure. Uh, would any of you consider yourself an avid VR chat user or you played a decent amount? Yes, I've been playing since I was like 12 or 11, and I'm 18. Uh, I'm just trying to make like a little documentary for YouTube, and I was just going around and ask people questions about how they feel about VR chat and whatnot. You know, she can answer that. I'm going to take the oh, initiative since he's that fucking pussy, and I'm gonna- Yeah, sure, oh, you can, okay, you can ask me awesome. questions. How long- how long have you been on your chat? Like, a couple years now? Well, six years. Six- five, six years. And when you get on VR chat, uh, what, what are the things you look forward to or you have fun doing on here? Forward to having fun with my friends. Him, his friend group, I look forward to singing in the public worlds, providing entertainment, that sort of thing. And being oh, okay. su a supportive person. Uh, what are some of the worst aspects or bad things about VR chat? And if you have a personal experience, uh, feel free to share it. There's a lot of- there's a lot of- Can you shut up? There's a lot of- there's a lot of bad things that can happen in this game. Um, I've gone through a lot of friendships and kind of relationships here that have ended pretty badly. And there's also like a lot of toxic people, especially little kids who don't really know respect yet. It's kind of a big thing here, but if you learn to ignore it, Honestly, it's not that bad. Whenever you say uh, friendships and relationships, uh, do you mind de diving deeper into that? Like what happened with the friendships slash re relationships? Uh, no, 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 it's fine. So there was like a lot of, I guess maybe, it's hard to explain really what really happened. Uh, I think I'll pass on that question actually. If that's okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Now, uh, I've interviewed a few people now, and I've heard a lot of issues about uh, underage kind of pedophilia things happen. Have you experienced that a lot on here? <laughs> I experienced that when I was pretty much an underage person here, and pretty much, like he said recently, there was little kids here that were kind of treated that way, and yeah. It's just, it happens a lot here, and it's a pretty sad thing, honestly. Yeah, it's kind of still... uh, if you were to recommend one yeah, world for me not to go to interview people, what world would that be? This one. <laughs> this is the only one I've been to so This far. one is not a recommended world. <laughs> there's, a there's a lot of distractions, as you can see. And there's a yeah. lot of people who are going to yeah. interrupt you and be very loud, very yeah. disrespectful. What was the worst experience you've ever had on VR chat, personally? I think it was a bully session. There was a pretty bad bully session that happened a couple of years ago. I don't remember the full details, but... Worst experience, bully session, I don't remember the full details, but... There was a lot where, um... I was in a very dark place, and... They made a lot light of that situation, telling me that I should go through with killing myself and 
harming myself and just it wasn't a good experience and oh, yeah. I don't remember the exact words that they said but I do know that that's what the topic it was pretty bad <laughs> it was a couple people too it wasn't just one person yeah I've moved past that I'm a much better person now much in a lighter headspace well, that's good. I'm very glad to hear things that. are much better now anything else uh, no, I should, I like keep it short and simple, but thank you very much. If you would like to plug yourself, like if you want to shout out your TikTok or Instagram, X, whatever it may be, or if you just want to say anything, then you're free for you to go ahead. Oh, no, I'm fine. I don't have really have any socials to plug in anyways. You go do whatever you want, okay? All right, sounds good with me. Thank you very much for this interview. Sorry for taking up too much of your time if I did, but you have a lovely and amazing rest of your day, both of you. You take care. Thank you. Oh, damn. He's an alpha. Whenever I can ask a what's question. one of the worst experiences you ever had on VR chat, like personally? If, if I can ask you, this actually happened like, okay. like how long? A week? Two oh, weeks, maybe. Two, you, two, weeks, two weeks. Two weeks ago. So, um, we were like in a world, and um, someone. Basically, we reported someone for like ERPing in public, you know, the, there were also some kids present oh, yeah, and whatever. But I don't have to, like, air link, and air link, and for it, it got yeah. really like heated. It was like sort of an argument. It wasn't really all that nice. Yeah, if you were to recommend me, to, if you were to recommend me one world to never go to for interviews, what world would that be? There's one. <laughs> No D. This one. From people I've interviewed, a lot of people are saying the furry hub is a no-go. Never go there. Oh, the furry hub. I agree. Oh, yeah, don't yes. go to the furry hub. Yes. 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 That, don't. That, that as well. That as well. <laughs> Fucked up, weird people, you can go there. If you want to I mean, keep your there, mental yeah. health on a normal level, don't go there. Like like two people, like men and women having sex. How about two fucking furries having sex in the public world? Yes. I don't know, when, wherever you are and there's some furries on the world, I don't know, they're just immediately mean. And you don't even do anything to them. I would disagree with that sentiment. Why would you so disagree? Times. I have many furry I friends. Know, I, I myself know, uh, am not a furry. I only nice in furries. No, it's not, it's not like I hate them. I have friends which are all furries as well. But like, in public worlds, you don't do anything to those people and they scream at you for no reason. Like, this happened to me a few times. Alright, uh, my next question to have for you is one touchy subject, but it's been coming up a lot in my interviews. Uh, have you had or seen anything that has to do with predators seeking out children? Because it seems to be a thing that happens a lot in VR chat. Yes, no, and I uh, actively hunt them. Unfortunately. Well, what do you do to go about hunting them? Um, so, I, I, I uh, is this being recorded? Yes, this is a documentary that will be for on YouTube about VR chat. If my uh, username could be hidden, but uh, I actively yeah, use their yeah, phantom it. sense against them. Um, I actively use their phantom sense and pain against them, and uh, I take weapons and uh, fire. I take and weapons how uh, and how well does that work for them? Um... I've caused seizures before. I don't see you shooting at something. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see oh, it. I, I saw that. By... Trap them. You know, make them report themselves to the police. Well, how would you insinuate someone to uh, trap themselves, per se? How would you infiltrate that? Um, I go mute. I use popular avatars used by children. Um, ho hopefully they do not read my bio that says my actual age. Um, I use a fake Discord. And uh, when I get them to start crying, I tell them to report themselves to authorities. I remember last time when we had something like that, of course, but the first thing is, well, yeah, you say, hey, by the way, that, that girl boy is like 14, you know, and if they like mm -hmm. keep going, it's mostly it's like, like, uh, block mute and report it to VR chat and hopefully they do something about it. Thank you all very much for your time. If you guys would like to plug anything, your Instagram, TikTok, whatever it may be, or if you just want to say anything, you may go ahead at this time. Again, I'm happy sure. if I remain anonymous. <laughs> you're, you're anonymous. You're, you're blocked out. Like, we, I can see, we can see your avatar, Thank but you. you can't say anything else. Beautiful. No, follow, follow, me, follow me on Twitch, Dragon Riders. Uh, and you can, uh, I, I also provide uh, custom VR chat models, if you're interested. Alright. Nice.
Here we go. Excuse me, you mind if I ask you guys a quick question? <laughs> no, I don't want to hear it. Okay, yeah, what's up? So I'm doing a, like a documentary. Session. Oh, God. I'm doing a documentary style kind of thing about VR chat. And uh, I was wondering if I could get one of you for like an interview or something like that. Oh, I'm perfect for an interview. I'm really good with talking. All right, so whenever uh, you get on VR chat, what's your day to day like? Or what do you look forward to doing? In VR chat, usually hanging out with my friends most of the time. Um, especially in the furry worlds, I usually go there. Yeah. That's all GB. Cause some oh, okay. mischief. Uh, when you say cause mischief, what do you mean? What do you do? Um. Well, I go around just being silly. So by that, I mean more like going around with my friends and just uh, goofing off and uh, having laughs, things like that. Uh, yeah. Where, where are some of the like worse or lesser aspects of VR chat? Things that like you huh? wish weren't there. I wish um, there was less children. I would say a lot more underage children. I think it is kind of. Um, Kind of out of control sometimes. It seems this game seems a lot more mature, you know, than it comes off to be. Kind of Especially when you download it in the store and everything. Yeah. But every world I I went to, it's usually just um more people that are eighteen plus most of the time. Uh, what's one of the worst experiences you ever had on VR Chat? I think the worst experience I've had was when people. I think I was at the Black Cat. And um, people were just uh, going around and just saying that they're hacking each other and all that, you know, doxing and things like that. Yeah. I think that's probably been the worst. Uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, interviews at the Black Cat for about two hours now. And uh, I'll, I'll, everyone I asked, I was like, where's the worst place I could go for? Go or like, I should never go, never interview there. And a lot of people recommended the Fur Hub. Do you have any idea why they would say that? I don't know, it's kind of a uh, place where kind of the trolls come by a lot, and they kind of just <laughs> troll everybody here most of the time, and then they get banned instantly. That's, yeah. I think that's the reason why, um, but at the same time, I think, I don't know, yeah, I, I think I, I think that's just the main reason, but I don't know why most people say that, because the times I've been here, it's been pretty okay, from my experience. Well, I've heard people also say that, uh, that some furries, I don't know why, but some furries, whenever you're in the fur hub, they dress up not safe Did for work fit, uh, and are act indecent and can yeah. leave bad impressions. That's good. Yeah. Have you ever had that? Yeah, that's true. Uh, have you um, seen that here? Well, the times I, I think I've seen, um, I think I've seen a couple times, yeah, but it's usually like downstairs. Oh, it's not really out in the open. They like hide away a little bit when stuff like that happens. Well, it's kind of funny how they say that, because even when you go to the Black Cat and different worlds, that stuff usually happens. And then when that happens, it's usually when a 12-year-old uh, or something like that gets a hold of an N uh, an NSW, sorry, NSFW and uh, goes around you and actually you know, yeah. throws it around. That's what usually happens. Because it doesn't what? just happen in the Fur Hub, it happens no, in a lot of no. worlds. Especially in the FNAF yeah. world, it's a group that you've where it's literally oh, littered yeah. with kids. I've been interviewing people and they're talking about how kids no, are bad and stuff like that. I hear that a big issue that people have a lot with VR chat is the predatorial certified stuff that happens with stuff. the kids. Have you seen that or witnessed that a lot? Really? You know uh, no, because I don't associate myself with that. No, I don't. Oh, you don't overhear it or anything like that? Um, no, I, I've never experienced it, what no. It, what does it mean? I don't know. Okay. I, I, for me, I literally... What does what mean? I've heard people saying they've they have experienced that stuff, but that's usually other people saying that. But me personally, no, I haven't experienced it. Okay, how about yet, uh, I, I how wanna... about above and beyond like cyberbullying type stuff, like the KYS and above and beyond kind of. Oh yeah, there's a lot of cyberbullying. Well, what, what's some of the worst that you've seen or you can recall? I would say myself. <laughs> like you, you the victim or you the pursuer? I uh yeah, I, I bully some people on here a couple times. Well, actually, no, not a couple times. Well, the thing is, is that, um, for me, it's not well, supposed I, to be well, like I a, um, I don't know, have you ever heard of the term banter, uh, banter at all? Like when people yes, are just talking yes. shit to each other and then laughing? That's the kind of type of bullying I would get involved with with my friends and everything. Like this one right here, yeah, we'll bully each other. But as like, like you talking about like seriousness, like serious bully, like where it's like, yeah, when it's going like too far or like you, you don't think it's a joke anymore. For me, I would say offensive things, but if it's going too far, I know when to stop. 
five. Especially when they come to me personally and say, hey, um, something you said really hurt me really bad and I don't want to think about that. I'm like, okay, I'll back off. Okay, so you'll you'll pursue people so, in, a, in a joking manner, but you don't ever mean like ill intent towards them. No, I don't really think I mean ill intent. I don't think I have the heart to do that. Annoyed. It's just that, you know, somebody like me likes to say a lot of offensive things, but, you know, that's why people have a right to block me or yeah. kick me out of instance. You know, so it's yeah. fair because when I get kicked out of instance and stuff like that, it's it's reasonable. Well, I'm, I'm not sure mad at it at all. Uh, how do you feel about people on VR chat that are e- either e dating or ERPing? How how do you feel when you see people like that? I don't really think much of it. Um, uh, you know, hey, you know, you do you. Like you know, if that's something you like, you know, you do it. Yeah, well, furries usually um, ERP a lot, or just ERP period. Um. It's kind of the thing about our characters and everything like that. We kind of get into it and, you know, we like to, you know, role play, especially in uh, different private worlds and stuff like that. Uh, when you when you say role play, uh, what, what are the type of things you do when you role play? <laughs> well, not to sound cringy, but I do it sometimes. Um, when I get into, ca- like every time I jump on a VR chat, because I usually, you know, go to work all day and, you know, finish up you know finish up my hours and everything come home relax and then jump on here like um when i get my you know my own custom avatar that i got made i come in here and just like uh, act like my you know persona just it's kind of like your own character that you made and that's kind of like the role playing i do just kind of expressing that side of me yeah um but with erp and stuff like that i know a lot of people that you know do it like usually go in their own private worlds and you know have fun and especially when they have their own custom too and they all <laughs> do shit with each other yeah yeah oh yeah, uh, what by the way what's your, um it's good is it gonna be on youtube yeah it will be on youtube yes and if yeah you well my... even if i am in it or not i'm fine with it i would be interested in watching it i'll tell you what it was way different than i thought it would be yeah there's a lot of uh, depressed people on vr chat yeah, because a lot of these people are just um, a little socially um, messed up, you know. And a lot of them do come on this game to kind of like, you know, break through that wall. A lot of these people yeah. have anxiety and things like that. Because I've only been here for, I've done VR chat for like a year. And I've noticed a lot of that. Well, would you recommend people to, to get on VR chat? If someone who's never touched VR chat, would you be like, yeah, come on in? Or would you be like, ah, I'd try to stay away from it if I were you? Uh... It's kind of weird because um, when I used VR chat, I actually made a lot of friends. Even, you know, it started on here and then it moved to IRL. And uh, made friends through this and, you know, and all my you know people that I know now. It's like I kind of made a pretty decent friend group on here because before um, I had a hard time um, socializing with other people yeah. in IRL. Plus, you know, I had a drinking problem and, you know, addiction and, you know, bad childhood, all, you know, the whole shebang. So, so VR had, like, the lowest part of my life. you with your were... drinking problems and stuff like that? Um, I would say it, um, I wouldn't say, I think the whole drinking problem was kind of just on my end, but I think VR chat helped me start socializing with people. Kind of like, um, an escape from reality. Of yeah, sorts. it's definitely helped me socialize better. Yeah, like you know, now when I'm in IRL, like I, you know, have a better time approaching people and stuff like that. Especially my job, you know, knowing I still don't talk a lot, but when I do, it's kind of a lot more. It's more comfortable because before, yeah. before it wasn't. So since I have had VR chat, I met all my friends here, and we're always talking and make our own Discord servers and everything, and play other games together and everything. So yeah, it's been. Been a, been a pretty good experience with me i'll uh, leave you be but uh yeah this was great you know i appreciate you interviewing me yeah no problem thank you very much thank you for your time you have a good day or night yeah you take you take Lyra, care man. Have what are you doing? amazing day